together slowly but surely. I feel like when I was putting together this room, I almost put more pressure on myself because it's actually the first room you enter when you come into our home and we do have more of an open concept in this area. So I guess I wanted it to be really warm and inviting to give you that cozy first impression, but I also wanted it to be a functional and inspiring space for me to work and spend my days. So it was a long time coming, but thankfully I believe it is just that and I'm excited to share all the little details with you all. It's only fitting that we kick things off with the bookshelves. These are truly the star of the show in my opinion. And I played around for many months with putting my desk on this wall or putting it in the middle. I went back and forth. I would rearrange it multiple times, but I'm glad we finally settled on this. I love the kind of cozy library aspect this adds to the space and it's so functional for so many reasons to be able to store our books and also little knickknacks here and there. And what we did to add more character to this room, which I really love, are these wall moldings. And these ended up being more of a project than we originally anticipated because we actually ordered these moldings and they were pre-constructed. So they were already in the rectangular shape and they actually had sticky adhesive on the back as well. So I was like, oh, it's gonna be so easy. We're just gonna stick it on the wall, no problem. Ended up being much more, involved than that we had to paint and prime the moldings and then the stick the sticker on the back it wouldn't stick to our walls very well we do have textured walls so it just was not working out but we ended up nailing the moldings in and then we had to caulk it and fill in the nail holes it was a whole process but i think it is worth it it adds so much character and dimension to the wall and i feel like it looks nice layered with these airy bookshelves from cb2 i think they're so stunning super durable and kind of give you that built-in look in a much more attainable way I feel like the shelf styling will be ever evolving and I'll end up moving things around throughout the years, but this is what it looks like right now. So on our first shelf, on the top layer, we have this beautiful, live beautiful coffee table book in this wooden bowl from Target. And then on this shelf, this is one of my favorite shelves because I have my Jane Austen collection of all of her pieces and I just love the design of the book covers and of course I love her writing so that is really special to me. And then we also have this plant which honestly is looking a little sad. I just watered it the other day so hopefully it'll perk up a bit more. And then on the next shelf we have our architectural digest coffee table book and some other decor pieces our alabaster and co books and some books we thrifted in this corner which i just love the cream tones and cuteness they add also this is one of my favorite thrifted book finds this prayers for girls book is just full of these sweet prayers on all these different topics and i just absolutely love it I think it is darling and then this cute little storage box which i don't remember what's in there oh a luggage tag some earrings my phone charm <laughs> that's what happens when you have little storage boxes like this some random things will pop in there and call it home and then i have my recipe book i was gonna keep this in my kitchen but it actually is too big for the shelves we have in there so it looks nice in here though and I'm gonna keep adding recipes to this binder. Super beautiful. And this shelf was not curated much, but <laughs> I needed a place to put these two things and I think it works for now. And now for our third bookcase, we have another plant. And then this portrait of Palmer is one of my most prized possessions. It was drawn by a sweet girl at church actually, and she's so talented and I just love the way this looks. And I found this frame from Anthropology so precious and then uh, this is also one of my favorite shelves i love these marble bookends and then these books i actually ordered from etsy and they were already curated actually this one i added in but all of the other ones were curated to be a neutral cream collection of books so that it looks nice and coherent with everything else and i thought that was a fun find and then this lamp is also from etsy which is also one of my favorite additions clearly i have a lot of favorites but hey that's what i wanted i wanted it to be full of inspiring things but how cute is this lamp here 
I'll back up so you can kind of get the full picture, but it is so petite and precious. And then below that, we have some other miscellaneous books, a seashell candle, and another storage bin. This one is actually more organized. So I have some blue light glasses, some lipsticks, some washi tape and string, some bookmarks from my book club that I had left over, and some cards and stamps for different letters. And then below that, we have some other miscellaneous books. And then I'm just going to pivot over here with more miscellaneous books. And then on this shelf, we have my Puffin and Bloom collection, which is definitely a favorite. This one actually isn't part of the collection, but it's another classic, The Wind in the Willows. And I love this cover art. I think it's so beautiful. So for this collection, I have Little Women, Anne of Green Gables, A Little Princess, Heidi, and that's it. And then I have this template by Milena and it's an overview of the month. And I love looking at this just at a glance and I love having it right next to my desk. And then above that, I have a random stack of notebooks and library books that I just like to keep easily accessible. Another storage bin that I keep camera equipment in. And then above that, we have another dry erase board, which I love to put my daily to-do list on or just miscellaneous ideas. And then this pretty plant who seems to be thriving in its little corner right here. And then on the top shelf, we have some more miscellaneous books. And I did do the trick of turning them backwards just so that it would look a little bit more peaceful and coordinated because all of these books have a ton of different colors, which, you know, I like color here and there, but overall I wanted this room to be serene and more neutral. Now for the anchor of the office, my desk. So I love this desk. I feel like it's such a great size because you have room for your computer, but you also have room for notebooks and to write and plan. So I really love the size and it's also super durable, which is great. And it's more affordable. It's a world market find. So I'm really, no complaints about the desk. And something that really sold me about it are these little end extensions. There's one on each side, and when I first saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, perfect. When I have my afternoon iced coffee or drinks in general, I'm going to put them on these extensions because if you've been around for a long time, you may remember in college, I actually spilled water on my laptop as I was doing schoolwork. And it was a stressful time because it was during exams and I was interviewing for jobs. And so ever since that, I've become a little paranoid about liquids around my electronics, which I guess I learned my lesson, so that's good. But I love these extensions because it kind of gives me that safety that my drink's a little farther away. But I think it's just a cool feature in general to have extra room hidden in there. And it does have a drawer. So I guess one complaint would be that there's not a lot of storage within the desk, but it works out because even my drawer right there is just kind of cluttered. So I, I fear that if I had even more drawers, it would be messier. So I really love this space. And my office chair is also from World Market and it is super comfy. I love that it has wheels. I've always dreamed of having an at-home office chair with wheels and just rolling around, out and about, moving and grooving. And I've had it for over a year now and it's kept really good shape. And as far as desk styling, I like to keep it pretty clean and simple, but of course I have a coaster. This seashell one is from a small shop called Love and Gray. I really love the coastal little detail it adds. And then my mouse pad is from Amazon and I do like having a mouse for editing. So that's been helpful. My laptop and then I have a monthly list over here, which I haven't updated in a while, but I like having it and it is nice to kind of fill up the desk space a little bit but still have those clean lines so this is a great addition my blue light glasses that i try to wear and my collection of different pens highlighters scissors etc tucked behind my desk we have our electric fireplace which was really the star of our first apartment together it was actually a wedding gift which was so generous and sweet it was definitely a dream of mine to have a fireplace and i still have a fireplace obsession so i knew i wanted to keep our fireplace and have it somewhere in the house because florida homes especially new construction homes it is very rare to have a fireplace so 
unfortunately we don't have one in our living room or anything so I love having this one in the space and having it behind my desk really just gives me Queen of England energy if you've watched the crown that definitely is a commonality that a lot of different British castles and offices they have their desk in front of a fire I suppose to keep warm but that was my inspiration for this and I love how it turned out it's just a great detail who knows if we'll keep it here as we grow and whatnot but I love it for now and it's a great place to put a candle a couple picture frames and I also have two other books over here that I thrifted a few months ago and then this wooden pot that I did have a Christmas tree in at Christmas time but now it's a little bare a little empty empty so maybe again in spring we'll add a cute flower and this I actually found at home goods about a year and a half ago so I really love that find and it looks like a little sunbeam and I love how mirrors reflect the light to make it just more bright and airy in here and in this little corner we have our beautiful tripod seagrass lamp I've had this for few years now we've had it since we lived in our apartment and it is a target opal house find i think it is a work of art it is so beautiful one of my favorite features is that it's actually dimmable so it has this controller and you can make it really soft or brighter and still when it's super bright it's nice and warm and mellow so i really like this for early mornings or late night editing i think it is lovely and then while I'm here, I also want to touch on window treatments. So we have these seagrass, actually, I don't know if they're called seagrass. I'll have to double check on that. But we have these Roman shades throughout our home and I love the texture it adds. And I love that you can push it up all the way to really let in the light. And we, I really have enjoyed them. And this is the light wash shade. So it is more of the earthy beachy look and I really love it so we have it on the two windows behind me but then also these two windows right here so it's worked out great but something important to know about these shades they do not give you full privacy during the day they pretty much do but at night you can still see through them quite a bit so if you're putting them in a bedroom or somewhere where you definitely want some privacy from the outdoor world layer it with a curtain for sure okay just make sure you have that under control. Brandon and I, we did a few different tests of like at night standing outside to see how much you could see in and whatnot, but definitely it's more transparent than you would think. And speaking of curtains, these are from Ikea and we also have them in our living room and they've been great. Okay, now for chairs and the rugs. These chairs belong to Palmer. These are Palmer's chairs. He loves to sit in this one especially and look out the window. It's really cute. He also loves this rug behind me, this furry white one, and he'll sit there for hours, which I love. It's his impromptu dog bed. It's funny because when I first purchased it, I was a little worried that he would want to tear it up and chew it because, I don't know, he he's attracted to things like that, but thankfully, he just wants to stumble on it, so for that, I'm super grateful. But these chairs, so I really love them. I love the cane back and they're comfy. I mean, I don't spend too much time sitting in them, but they have great detail and they were more affordable. And then the pillows, it took me a long time to find pillows I liked, but these are great. Um, I will say, I do think they're a little big for the chair. So I may end up switching them out and then putting these pillows on our couch in the living room because I've tested them out there and they look really cute. So this might be evolving a bit. Maybe I'll decorate it differently with the seasons. But for now, I really like it and I like the texture of the pillows a lot and the pom-poms. I think they're really fun. And on the back of this chair, I have this cozy cotton blanket from Under the Canopy. And this is really beautiful quality and adds a little nice blue to kind of go with our coastal theme. So this is a great addition and I pretty much always have a blanket around me when I'm working at my desk. So I'll grab that one and wrap myself up in it. Even when I worked in an office building at Disney, I would always have a blanket there and have it in my office chair. It's just one of those things that makes working more enjoyable if you ask me.
And then over here we have this hidden nook, if you will. And it's fun because if you're not sitting at my desk or just standing over there in general, you're really not going to see these photographs, but I really wanted to maximize this space and I didn't have a place to put these photos. So if I've had these framed wedding photos ever since we first got married in our first apartment and I just haven't found a place in our home yet. So when I had this empty space, I thought it was perfect and it's such a sweet thing for me to glance at as I'm working. So I love these. And then our plants are beautiful birds of paradise to add a little freshness and greenery to the space. So the big main rug in my office is actually from Zara Home. It was my first Zara Home purchase, but I really like it. I love the color scheme of it, and I feel like it does look quite classy and elevated. And then I layered it with that faux Sherpa rug under that chair. I played with placement a few times, but it ended up there, and I really like that. I love the look of layered rugs, even if it's just a simple, small one like that. I wanted to also share our entryway table because to me this is an extension of my office because it's all one open space and I always look at this when I'm working as well, my wedding photos and also this calming photo of the beach which is fabulous. So this table is from CB2 and I love it. I love the arch design and the texture of it is really beautiful as well. I believe it also comes in black, which would be really sharp and stunning if that works well in your space. And then I have these two taper candles. The twisted actual candle part is from World Market, and then the holders are from Anthropology. We have this wooden vase from Target with some dried floral, and then the art print is from Society6, and the frame is from Target. And then above that, I have this cute battery operated mounted light and this is great another cozy light fixture to really make a beautiful atmosphere at night when it's a little dark i think having cozy lights all around your home is such a great way to just make it feel more warm and welcoming so i love this detail and it does come with a remote which is great because you can adjust it and put a timer but it also has this button on the side that you can press to turn it off and then also pick the color tone that you want. So that's been good to us. And then the last component is this ottoman at the bottom that I also found at Target. Oh, actually, one more thing. We have this full-length mirror right here, which is an Amazon find. And this is great to have for checking yourself before you head out the door. We also did add in this gold globe ceiling light, which is another great addition. And that's my office. I really hope you enjoyed this tour. I'm super, super thankful for this space and hope you enjoyed seeing all the little details. I will try to link everything I can in the description. So hopefully that'll be helpful, but thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next. Bye.